Okay, last set of symbols happening. Um, remember, our symbols are basically like a secret code that everyone in the housing and building industry knows. Um, so now we are going to <clears throat> mainly talk about the symbols that are now circled in pink, plus a few more that might not be on here. Um, so the basis of kitchen is the cabinets, right? Uh, we can't remember if we've learned it yet, but um, a kitchen is described by the way that its cabinets are laid out. And we have several different shapes of kitchens and just is totally based on how the cabinets are arranged, what shape your kitchen is. Um, so in this situation, the symbol for cabinets, um, remember the thick black line is pretty much always the wall. It is here. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, and then you have this solid line of a rectangle that is attached to the wall, and that represents your lower cabinets. In this picture, that's these ones down here that have a countertop on them, lower cabinets. And then the dotted line represents your upper cabinets. So that is all of these up top that you have to reach up to get into. So lower is the solid line, upper is the dotted line for the cabinets, and the thick black line represents the wall that they're attached to. Um, so you would have this going around the perimeter of a kitchen in a floor plan, and um, some places may not have upper cabinets um, above the lower cabinets, and some places might only have an upper cabinet and no lower cabinet. That's not really common, but it could happen. Um, so you would draw that all around your kitchen. The symbol for dishwasher is so easy. It's literally a square with a DW in it for dishwasher. Um, and refrigerator is also literally a square with REF in it for refrigerator. Um, in this example, it has like a little, little shape there for a handle, but that's not always a common thing. Um, I did not put pictures of a dishwasher and refrigerator on here for reasons because um, I hope you know what those look like. And next we have a uh, double sink or single sink. We talked about um, how a single sink was like an apron sink or a farmhouse sink in a, in a house. So that's what I'm going to mean by single sink. But you can see the difference here. This one has a line through it and two circles uh, for holes, like where it drain. One's a drain and one's a drain slash garbage disposal. And then the single sink is a drain slash garbage disposal only. Remember the purpose of a double sink is so you can like wash dishes by hand. Um, I, in our last house when we redid the kitchen, I was like adamant about getting a single sink. I was like, I can put so many dishes in there. I won't have to put them in the dishwasher for like three days. I'm so bad at dishes. It's awful. And, um, and my boyfriend was like, no, why would you do that? You need two sides to it. You have to, that's just what makes sense. Um, and I was like, no, put my foot down. This is what I want. And he got on board with it. And I think it's funny. So now we're redoing the kitchen at our new house. And I got my single sink again because it's great. And everybody who comes over thinks it's great too. So everybody should get a single sink. Next is an electric range. Um, and we will talk more about what the difference is between these when we go over appliances. I don't remember what day that is. Uh, but you just need to know that this is the symbol for an electric range. Um, if you do a more simplified version, it's literally just a square with four circles inside of it. And this is a range or a cooktop where you've just got, it's like glass usually is what it's made of. At least the more modern ones for the past, oh, I don't know, like 20 years have been made like that. Um, and it just has four four or five burners on top of a glass cooktop. That means it is electric. If you have a gas cooktop, it looks like this, um, and it is made of big cast iron grates that have this star pattern on them, and where this black circle is in the center of each of them is where the fire comes up from the middle. Like you're literally cooking with fire, and it's a gas cooktop because you need the gas to start the fire. Um, so think about which type you have in your home. If you have big iron grates on your cooktop or if you have a glass or coil cooktop, um, then that's what symbol you have in your home. But when we design, you can use whatever you want. Uh, let's see. We have an oven here. Uh, I feel like people just block this one out for some reason, but please, please, please notice it. Hopefully this 
bar will go away. But it's literally a square with a circle in the center. Um, that's it. Think O for oven. That's all there is to it. For some reason, I don't know why, people get it confused with shower. I guess because a shower can have a circular drain in this, the center. But the shower has the X through the square. Oven does not. It just has an O. Um, and I, I guess that's a o, supposed to be an O for oven, not a circle for something. Because I don't know what would be a circle in an oven other than a fan. But um, let's say it's an O for oven and that's how you're going to remember it. And that is it. That's a short one. Um, so that is all the symbols that we're going to need to know for now to design kitchens and baths.